Nick Clegg, our party leader, actually announced that there would be £1.25 billion over the next parliament uh, to invest in children and young people's mental health. That can make a big difference. But this has been a dysfunctional service for a long time. I mean, the, the dif we had real difficulties in the last decade when he was a teenager getting access to uh, support. Most children and young people don't actually get access to support. It's a minority that do, and that's intolerable. We would never accept it with physical health problems. Mm. Uh, so my big passion uh, is equality for mental health and for those who suffer from mental ill health. And children and young people's mental health is more important than anything because it can shape uh, the rest of your life. And if you can intervene quickly, get support where it's needed, then uh, you can transform that person's life. So my mission as a Lib Dem uh, in this government has been to transform uh, people's experience in services and I think this uh, task force today is a it's a real moment it's a sort of once in a generation opportunity to modernize the way services operate. We understand um, from NHS England that spending on children's mental health services in England has fallen by more than six percent mm. in real terms uh, since the coalition government came to power which is at odds with your whole mission to well, let me, increase let me just, access to this. So services. let me explain what happens. Uh, there's been no decision by the government to cut children's mental health services, but money in our NHS gets sent yeah. out around the country to what are called clinical commissioning groups, and they spend money on their population. And when they're faced with very tough and politically strong access and waiting time standards in physical health with nothing in mental health. This is the great scandal. It's a, there's a complete discrimination within the NHS. If you, have a, if you have suspected cancer, you have a right to see a specialist within a fortnight. If you have serious mental ill health as a teenager, you have no such right. Could, That's would, discrimination, would you, would and, but it drives where the money goes. And yeah. So in local areas, it ends up with the money getting sucked into acute hospitals and something has to give, and it's always mental health. And that's why we've introduced access standards from this April for the first time. And so will there be targets equivalent to cancer yeah, targets? Absolutely. And, and, you know, I was talking to Mike Richards, who was the cancer czar, who introduced all of this to cancer, and he said to me, Norman, this is the opportunity. We, we transform cancer care in this country. We can do the same with mental health. And I think if we can get comprehensive waiting time standards so that clinical commissioning groups have to take mental health just as seriously as physical health, 